If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I'm be going over my first lineup update in Madden 22, guys. Now, as you guys know, I'm not no money spent, but I'm also not like massively youtuber money spent right i'm like somewhere on the lower spectrum of like i'd say if there was like a, a step right above no money spent i'm usually there so i've only done one bundle this year it was my first video it's more about a content creation aspect of it otherwise though pending other bundles i prefer to go mostly no money spent for the year but i will never call myself fully no money spent because of course i still buy the level of packs and all the stuff i have to buy regardless mainly for the channel but it also helps my team out a little bit we're gonna go through my team i'm gonna show you guys what a team looks like pretty much a one bundle hopefully you guys can kind of relate to that i'll never have the greatest god squad on and in the game but i've tried to do pretty good here but going into this i'm gonna go through one position by position i, I wasn't sure the full lineup but i think it'll be more fun to talk i'm gonna tell you guys why who's who's where and why and the upgrades i plan to make because obviously i might have like a left end like calais campbell in there and be like yeah he's just a spot holder i plan to pick up this guy with a better price but i'll go through slowly and kind of show you my thought process and everything but before we get into the video give this video a big thumbs up as always subscribe to the channel turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to be shouted out from the poodle squad shout out all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Today's shout out goes to Catman75. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Appreciate you giving me some happy birthday wishes down there as well. From a few days ago, of course, guys, don't. I, I, it hasn't been a whole week, I promise. But if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Let's get into this. So I don't have a quarterback. So I have a few guys here. I have Mahomes, Wilson, Mahomes again, Mahomes again, and Kyler. So this is actually my power up Mahomes. I do plan to uh I plan to throw him into that one. But I didn't want to spend the training just yet because I feel like I really didn't just need it yet. The Russell Wilson's going to be sold, but why do I have Mahomes? It's simple. He's free. I personally don't like much of the other quarterback options right now. Uh, I want, I'm want. i waiting for another quarterback to drop because I know there's going to be one soon. There's always like a legend like a Steve Young. There'll be something. There'll be something soon that I'm going to like, so I'm waiting for that. Maybe a good Kyler. I don't really know. But Mahomes is free. I'm going to rock with him because, again, I don't spend a lot of money on this game, so I can't go ahead and just be replacing players just because I can. Uh, coming in at halfback, I got the best running back in the league. Simple. Saquon's the best running back. You can't not go him. Also, on, on a real note, his stats are insane. This Saquon Barkley has insane stats for an 85 overall. He's an 87 speed, 86 change of direction, decent power, agility, excel. He's got pretty good juking as well, spinning. And the best part is he has an 89 overall superstar MVP player coming pretty soon. So have the power up ready for when that is live. David Cook, I actually got out of a nap pack. Uh, Zeke and Chris Carson, I pulled. I'll probably sell some of these guys off at some point. Uh, skip over fullback. That's irrelevant right now. We have Stephon Diggs, Randy Moss, Devin Hester, Keenan Allen, Adam Thielen, but th the rest don't really matter. Stephon Diggs, actually, so I never really plan on buying him, although his card did look pretty good, but I actually ended up pulling him, so I'm contemplating powering him up and just using him as like a third or fourth string wide receiver. He's not bad. He's decently fast. I mean, he has some route running, but he's not. I really can't sell him, so it's an 87 overall, though. And then Randy Moss and Devin Hester, of course. My plan is mainly to get Devin Hester up to a 90, start him, get Tyree Kill, and then rock Randy Moss and Stephon Diggs out of the four and five slot. That's pretty much the plan I'm going with. Tight end, we have TJ Hawkinson. Now, that's not, that's not a keeper. That's a placeholder that I pulled. He's a, he's a coin quick sell. No, he's not. I th no, yes, he is, right? Yeah, he's a, he's a coin quick sell. Okay, I was, I was going to say it. The card art's there, but it looks a little weird right now. He's a coin quick sell. I'm waiting for my, my free premiere. I plan to take Kyle Pitts over Jamar Chase, actually. Uh, because with Jamar Chase, I already have Devin Hester and Tyreek Hill. I really don't feel like I need Jamar Chase. I feel like Kyle Pitts is a way better addition for my team. Personally, I'm really big on tight end. So when I get my Kyle Pitts record premiere, that's who I'll be taking. Left tackle, I took Laramie Tons out of the veteran pack. I like to take Lyman out of those three packs because I have a decent working line right now. Uh, again, I'm going to probably skip through the, this. I have, I, I, yeah, we're, we're done. I have too many Joe Thunies. We're done there. Uh, let's go over to center. Um, I don't like Joe Thuny, but I kept pulling him out of the Chiefs pack. We got Ryan Kelly. Now, the line, again, is going to be upgraded, but I know that the first Legend Week is going to probably introduce, like, a Larry Allen, a Walter, uh, Walter Jones, Steve Hutchinson. So I'm waiting kind of to upgrade the line until then because a good Legend O-line or a good legend lineman dropping should drop the market a decent amount in terms of left guard. So if he brings down like a guy like a Zach Martin, like Larry Allen usually brings Zach Martin down. I plan to scoop him then. I'm waiting a little bit. I gotta, I gotta play this strategically. I can't just go out and buy the best team right away. Now going over to the left end, Jack Youngblood. I personally like you'd like Youngblood over Lance um uh, Allworth. Was that was that it? Yeah. Personally, and there's there's a there's a specific reason why. So wide receivers right now, right? You're gonna have Devin Hester. So that's gonna be one of the fast wide receivers in the league, faster than Lance Allworth. You're gonna have a few Natalie Leach probably pull. You're going to have a free Randy Moss. There's a Deshaun Jackson. There's um, just so many good wide receivers. I believe this Tyreek Kill that you're obviously going to want to have. There's going to be legend wide receivers coming out. There's going to be so many wide receivers. I can't. I know I'll stop using Lance Allworth almost instantly. 
Jack Youngblood, on the other hand, is super, super solid. He gets an 82 speed with 86 excel off the rip with an 88 finesse move, 86 block shot with a strategy card. He'll be a top tier pass rusher and run stuffer. You really just can't discount the impact that a Jack Youngblood can have on your team. And it, I gave him abilities and an X factor off the rip for super cheap. Uh, he's, gonna be, he's, he's a solid, solid pass rusher. Can't go wrong with him, in my opinion. Next, we do have at right end, Calais Campbell. Now, he's a placeholder for Aaron Donald. Just waiting for a good price to sc uh, scoop him at. I'm waiting for like a Superstar MVP-esque market crash to go ahead and pick up my Aaron Donald. That's kind of the plan there for the most part. Defensive tackle. Now, we have Kenny Clark and Michael Brockers. I actually plan to sell Brockers. Uh, Kenny Clark's there because I pulled him. He's a, he's a decent defensive tackle. I mean, he doesn't go for too much anymore. It goes for around like 27K. So, I'll probably rock with him for a little bit and then see if I can get... I want that Linval Joseph from the uh, level 50 grind. So, that's probably who I'll end up actually using. Next, left outside linebacker. Here's the thing. So the way I run my scheme, I typically will only rush one outside linebacker. So I'll probably end up picking Khalil Mack. That's kind of who I want here. And I'll have him rushing for the time being. But for the, right now, we have that empty. Middle linebacker is horrible. I've been using my safeties there. Middle linebacker is horrible. Here's the thing with middle linebackers. I don't know who to buy just yet. I've been debating it. Uh, I'll probably end up picking a team builder up or pick up some more safeties. I'm really not sure how I'm going to end up managing that. But yeah, that's kind of that right now. I haven't had many linebackers. So I'm mainly grinding solos right now. So... I haven't felt the need to actually go ahead and pick up players. Also, you have to do the Cam Chancellor's challenges where you're below an 80 and a 70 overall at one point. So I didn't want to buy any players because I couldn't use them because that's keeping them out of the lineup until I finished it. I recently did just finish it. So I can go ahead and actually start upgrading the team now. Right outside linebacker, Calvin. I have not touched my linebackers at all. At all. I have not touched them. Hands that I, I can admit that I have not touched the linebackers. There are not so many great ones that I really like currently in the game, except for the pass rushing ones, and they're expensive. Cornerbacks, we got JC Jackson. Deion Sanders, Xavier Rhodes, and Shaq Griffin. JC's going to stay there, and so is Deion. I'll probably end up picking up Jalen Ramsey or maybe like a Fabian Moore. I haven't really decided yet, although I did pass on Fabian in the team builder pack. Then moving on down for free safety. I did just take Darnell Savage out of my pack, so I'm super excited for him. He's a beast. He's super well-rounded. He gets good speed, good excel, good hit power, and good zone, 5 foot 11. And it's a cool name, Darnell Savage, right? Like He's, he's a cool guy to use with the name Savage under him. I like him. He's a really good, really, he's a really good card. Overall, you guys, I'd recommend maybe taking him out of your team builder pack. If you want to know more on that, guys, I do have another video today. I did post my free team builder pack as well as my um, my my top ones to pick. So if you guys want to know who's the top team builders to pick out of your free team builder pack, head on down below. Or just in general, you can use that list in general to see who you want to buy. And that's strong safety. We have Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. I probably should have sold him when he was 90k. He's but he's pretty good. And the thing is, I do want to play some head to head. And there's not many great safeties yet until I get Cam Chancellor up. So. Unless I plan to buy Trevon, I'm probably going to rock with Tyran, Cam, and Darnell Savage for the uh, foreseeable future. Let's say I get Cam a little bit higher pretty fast, and I can go ahead and replace Tyran. But I want, I kind of want all of them, because Tyran plays a good, he could play a good third corner. Uh, he could play a good deep safety. Cam could go move up into the box, like a big, big nickel scheme. Wow, I have a lot of Will Parks. Oh, he's on the Chiefs, so that's why. I have six of them. I have a lot of Chiefs golds. I hope they do I hope they do a set that requires team-specific players, because I can knock it out pretty fast with Joe Thune, Will Parks, and Daniel Sorison. But guys, that's going to be the lineup update right there. Now, kicker, I think we do have Boswell, if I'm not mistaken. Chris Boswell, I got him for like 6K off the block the other day when he was, he was a snipe at first. Now he's like 16K. Punter, of course, not spending any money there right now. Who, who punts and mud? But guys, that is the team. Now, I do actually plan to start working on my strategy cards and getting the team together. I haven't done much powering up yet. I want to see who I was keeping where before I started powering up players. Like Mahomes, I will power up. Saquon, I know I'm keeping uh, all year long for gameplays and other reasons as well. But this is the team right here. Again, we have some holes to fill in, which we will fill in shortly. But I'm working on grinding right now, so I don't want to. I don't need to spend coins while I'm grinding. Because the worst thing people do is they go into the game and the day one they buy this, they spend overpriced players. They start buying for prices that aren't right when the market's not stabilized, and then they play solos for a week. And then when they finally ready for head to heads, all those players went down. So I like to wait a little bit so the players are, are you know at regular price. And then of course, really all we need here is a whole linebacking core, and another cornerback, and one more pass rusher, in my opinion. And this this is usable for now though. But guys, it's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And comment down below Poodle Squad if you do want to be shouted out in the next Poodle Squad shout out. And if you need coins to build your team, head on over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.